Hello! Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you guys are all doing well. So yesterday we reacted to Sparkle's English trailer and today we are going to be reacting to all four languages of the trailer um, with an emphasis on the voice acting. So we're going to rewatch the English one, focus on the voice acting, and then we will also watch Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. Same thing, sort of focusing on the voice acting throughout all of them. Uh, of course, if I notice anything, a lot of you guys like commented really interesting things, so I might kind of mention those as we go. If I notice anything else, that I find interesting. I'll of course talk about it, but the main focus for today is going to be the voice acting. Really quickly though, before we get into it, shout out to my Dino Nuggies, Louis T, Jake's the best ever, Rune, Joe Furry, Onslaught X, Snowball, Christian Oyneza, Ruyi Moonlight, and Nico. Thank you guys all so much for going above and beyond to support the channel. I really do appreciate it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up. Um, so the first one I have up here is the uh, Chinese version, which I think a lot of you guys mentioned that you really liked this one, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Bow. Ooh. Oh, so cool. It's it's just it's so it's so good every time. <laughs> and the music is so sick, dude. It's so freaking sick. Love that transition. Freaking love it. Yeah, and this was another thing. Um, I think that uh, somebody in the comments had mentioned that these sparkles like maybe represent like March Don Hung and like Welt or something possibly, or like March Himiko and Welt possibly, because like we have the one sort of taking pictures up here. I'm not really sure exactly how these ones might be representative of like Himiko or Welt or Don Hung, but it is kind of interesting. You know, March always kind of has the phone on her taking pictures, so that that could be like an interesting thing that they might be representing. Some food for thought. Oh. Wait, that was so cute. That little that was so cute. Oh my gosh. Yo, dude, I love that. That that's that's such a good choice on the voice actress's part because um again, P Sparkle is such like a playful and quirky character and I feel like adding in that little bleh really kind of captures Sparkle's playful quirkiness, you know? She is very much a character who would do something like that and add in the bleh. <laughs> So that's super cute because it's like I think the reason that it also works so well is it feels like this sparkle in the front is sort of like the main character um like like in the shot specifically and these ones are kind of like in the background but it's like such a sparkle thing to do to be in the background and then like still make herself known you know like bleh, like I may be in the background but bleh. <laughs> so sparkle Oh, dude, I like that little huh that she added in there when she like Yo, I liked that too. I liked when she asked the initial question. Let me find where it was. Right here. This this sounded really good. I like the way ya. At least that's what it sounded like. I have no idea what she actually said. I'm just like mimicking the sounds that I think I heard. But yeah, the way she um the way she sort of like increased uh like the 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 tone of her voice towards the end, that like no when she's asking the question, that sounded really, really good. Oh, dude. Oh, that's so good, bro. Oh my gosh. I really like, too, with the Chinese voice actors, how there are moments of, like, softness in the voice, but then there are moments where it gets, like, a little bit louder, a little bit harder, a little bit more, like, pure in tone. I think it's really nice to have that sort of, like, contrast because there's so much to Sparkle's character. Like, I think that that's a really good choice as well. Oh. Dude, that's 
psycho laughter was so good. What the heck? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on one more time. One more time. Yo, that is so good. Oh my god, dude. My girl went all in on that. That was so good. I also really like um when she initially says that like like I am Alation. She almost sounds celebratory. It sounds like she is announcing like the greatest thing to the entire world. Like she sounds so happy about it. And that's like that is so good. Again, like so fitting for Sparkle's character. Like it sounds a little bit psychotic, but it also sounds like celebratory, like freeing. And I guess I think like when I think of Elation, it seems like a very I mean, may maybe a little bit too freeing, like to the point where you're losing your mind. <laughs> Um, but I guess like, I guess like when I think of the path of elation, I always thought of it as like very like free and open and fun. So it's like very interesting that she has carried that into the voice acting. Oh, that's so, oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh my God. Bro, it goes so freaking hard. Um, another interesting thing about this, and thank you guys uh, for pointing this out in the comments because I hadn't noticed it, but there's actually a black mask back here, which is really interesting. And then we have the white masks and we have the red masks, but we also have this mask, which is really interesting as well as the one that she's holding. And it is actually um, half red and half white. And then it has like the, the black ears. Um, but it's very, very fascinating because I hadn't noticed this in my first watch through because the, the white part was like the part that was predominantly showing. But you'll notice at the end of the trailer when Sparkle comes out and is like, did I scare you? Um, you'll notice that the the white, the, the mask that she's wearing, it's not just white like I thought it was. It's actually white and red, which is quite fascinating. Fascinating. It almost feels um, a little bit like there's a sense of duality there. Uh, and maybe like a little bit of, of merging you know if, if the red mask is supposed to represent like the elation and aha and maybe like the, the part of her that's going a little bit crazy and maybe white mask is I don't know like inner sparkle it's almost like they've merged into one or perhaps they're like fighting for control inside of her very fascinating I like that a lot nice touch <laughs> and then we see yeah we see the white mask turning into this sort of half red half white and she puts it on. And you know what? I didn't notice. I didn't notice this in the first watch through. Um, but, you know, there has been some theorizing that, like, perhaps the mask kind of makes you a little bit insane, a little, little bit crazy. Um, the mask is actually on fire, which is interesting. Like, it again, it kind of makes me wonder, does the mask have some sort of power to it? And that's why Sparkle is the way that she is. Because you can see it's, it's on fire right here, which is very fascinating. Dang, dude. Oh, I like that, that little, uh -huh, that little tee -hee kind of sound at the end. That was so cute and so sparkle. Like, uh, because the thing with sparkle is like, she is so just unabashedly insane, you know, like she, like she's insane. She's having, she's living her best life. She's having a fun time and she does not give an F dude. Like, like the fact that she does a little tee -hee, it's, it's so sparkle because she's having fun. She likes the fact that you are uncomfortable. She likes the fact that you think she's psycho. And I feel like, like even this is really interesting right here. Like the, the gun is on top of the turkey and the way they're all, like the way she's looking at you here, it's almost as if she is daring you to take this gun and see what happens. And she loves that. <laughs> yeah? Uh-huh, okay, yep. Very good. Okay, next up we have the Korean version. I actually did not watch the Korean version of the Myriad Celestia trailer um, because Loki, I, I actually didn't know that there was a Korean version, but now I know. So here we are. Let's check out the Korean version. Oh, so cool, man. And another thing 
that um, I think like one or two of you mentioned in the comments section for the Sparkle trailer reaction uh, is that these strings right here might possibly represent some of our characters like we like I, I I remember like there was a theory that maybe the like yellow represents Aventurine maybe the purple one is like supposed to be Acheron maybe this green one is supposed to be Firefly or something and I think that's an interesting theory um that would actually that would actually be really really cool because there are a lot of moments where we have like threads coming out of Sparkle herself uh, which I feel like kind of emphasizes this idea that like Sparkle can be so many different people, you know? Music so freaking good. Mm. Good transition, yes. Loading the bullet. Ah, oh, I love that. I love it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was I was so distracted by what was happening. I I, I just missed her voice. I I literally missed the voice. Okay, hold on. Oh. Interesting. Her voice is um it's it's higher pitched than the Chinese one. And even even if I'm rem remembering correctly, I, I feel like uh because we watched the Japanese Myriad Celestia trailer, it sounds higher pitched than the Japanese one as well. Interesting. Hold on. One more time. Oh. Oh, I, I do like the way she did this. Ha! Ah, it was almost like a sigh, kind of, more so than a laugh. That was kind of a cool interpretation. Um, as far as the voice goes, yeah, it kind of sounds, it almost um, gives like a little bit more of like a, a childishness, but I think that's also still fitting because again, Sparkle is is like very playful. Like she, she has that like childlike playfulness to her character. So I actually think this is still quite fitting, even though it's like a little bit higher pitched than I was expecting. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, I like that little huh too when she like uh, when she tried to, sh to you know boom herself in the, in the head. I don't know if I can I don't know if I can say it on YouTube without like getting in trouble. I'll just say she tried to expire herself right there for funsies. <laughs> But it's like <laughs> the way she says it is so cute and playful. It almost gives this impression of like, oh yeah, like that's what I was expected. Who? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> oh, I like the way she said that too. The way she asked that question. Uh, very nice vocal intonation on that. <laughs> That was kind of cool. I don't know if you guys heard that, but like her voice got a little lower pitch there for a second. And that was really cool. And I like how um, when she's asking questions, the pitch towards the end is like really high, kind of like she's like, da 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 da. And it kind of gives it like an even quirkier feel. So I like that. Um, but here, uh, I think it was like the second sentence she said or something. You'll, you'll hear she kind of goes like a little lower pitch. And I think that sounds really good. <laughs> Right there, which is the ooh in a monka, and then she kind of went back up. That was really cool, actually, because it, it matched the music. I don't know if you could hear that. Sorry, but uh, I, I just really like this because it matches like the what's going on in the background noise. Like, do you hear? Like, it's it's all slowing down. Like, the background is going boo, and she's going like she's lowering her voice along with that. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love hearing the psychotic laughter. I freaking love it. So this one, um, whereas the Chinese one was um, sort of like, again, almost like a, a bit of like a celebration when she's talking about how she's the elation. This one's a little bit more subdued, but the laugh is still really good. I, I really like like the kind of, again, it's, it sounds crazy. It sounds psychotic. It's exactly what I want out of my psycho laughter. Um, I think personally i prefer like that chi the way the chinese one just like really went for it like i i really like that she sounded like she was celebrating she sounded so free like exactly the spirit of elation which i really liked but i don't mind the subdued one either it's not bad or anything i just think i slightly prefer the chinese like she just she just really went for it mm. 
Yeah, like this one's a little bit more restrained, you can hear. But I love the psychotic laughter. Like, that's, this sounds really good. Uh huh. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's so good. Ooh. Fascinating. And this part is so cool. Like I, I love this like sort of silhouette shot with all of the, the the ribbons and strings and stuff coming out from her. That's that's awesome. Oh yeah, this is really this really is good. It, it's just as good on the fourth, fifth, sixth watch, watch through. That was also really cute. That was also really cute. I, again, I really like the way I like the way that she um, again kind of like shifts the tone and the pitch of her voice in like certain sections throughout this trailer. I mean, it's not a very long trailer, so I wouldn't say there's like a ton of opportunity to have those like pitch shifts and like different intonations. But I really, really love that moment that she had with the um, where like it matched the music. Like that was really cool. So I actually really liked that. That was really, really awesome. Damn. Um, so unsurprisingly, another good one, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the Japanese. And let's see how this one is. Dude, I, I love this part so much. Like, just like this, these first, like, 10 seconds, like, oh, it's so good. It's so freaking good. Like, music-wise, the way the sound is, like, so eerie at first, and then it's click, click, doo-doo, and then this part starts. Oh, I love that so much. That is incredible. What is she doing here? What is she doing with her hands, actually, out of curiosity? What's going on? She just like waving them around. And let's see here. I guess we can't see, we can't really see if this sparkle has a mask, but this one is wearing a white mask. Right off the bat, right off the bat, I re I really like the tone that, that the Japanese voice actress has. I don't know what it is. It just it sounds so it sounds so incredibly like playful and fun and happy, and I feel like that's so fitting for Sparkle. <laughs> oh, I love that. Wait, hold on. The way she like did that laugh that was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, okay. I like the way her voice sort of has... It's almost like she kind of like knows something that you don't, you know? Like there's there's this tone of like... Um, it's, it's almost like slightly condescending, but again, like in a good way because I that's this is how I like imagine Sparkle. There's like this sort of unbothered, um, playful, quirky, um, know something that you don't know type of vibe to this voice. And I think that again, that's so fitting for Sparkle because that's like how Sparkle is. It always feels like Sparkle knows something that you don't know, but she's not going to tell you what it is because she does not give an F. Like she's just out here living her best life, you know, being 20 different people all at once. Oh my gosh, I, I love the way she said that. The, that like, that extra little, ah, uh, at the end of the sentence. Sorry, I should have gone back a little further. Okay, okay, so really quickly, let me go back a little bit. This part right here, I like the way she says this because it almost sounds a little bit like she's pouting in a sense. Like she ha has sort of like a pouty tone here. You know, it sounds almost a little bit like a pout. And then that 
That's really cute. I like that. <laughs> oh, yep. Always love to hear the different interpretations of Sparkle's psychotic laughter. Um, so this one's like a, a little bit more restrained than the Chinese version. Maybe not quite as restrained as the Korean version. Again, I like them all. I think my favorite one so far for this section specifically is still the Chinese. Like I like I like that the voice actors just went all in. But there is but there is something to be said for just sort of this like little um, kind of breathy bursts of laughter too. <laughs> Yeah, I like I like that too. Like that still sounds really good. It still captures Sparkle's playfulness. I just like there's I don't know, man. The Chinese one did something to me. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, dude, it's just as good every time. It's just as fascinating every time. So freaking cool. Yeah, and then, you know what's all, what else is cool about that fire? The fire on the mask is it's like reflected in her eyes too. Like you, you, you see it in her eye. Oh, so good. So freaking good. Ooh, I like the way she said that, especially. Oh, hold on one more time. One more time. Were you scared just now? <laughs> oh, that's what she's saying. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That little again, again, it's 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 almost like teasing. It's almost like she's teasing us. That's what I mean when I say it sounds like she knows something that we don't know. It's almost like she's teasing us for not knowing. And I like that. I like that that is com conveyed just through the voice. Like that's the sense that I get just from her voice. And I really really like that. Uh, okay, last one we have is the English one. Let's go, baby. I actually don't usually pay much attention to the voice acting when I'm like watching the English trailer, so this is gonna be kind of fun. Like, I know it sounds good, but I don't really like pay specific attention to it, so. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. I love this like eerie singing in the background too. There's only one bullet left. Wanna play a game? <laughs> What's your wager? Ooh, I like that. I like that. Um, what's your wager? One more time. I I also like the way she did the little like the little laugh here too. That was that was also really nice. Again. <laughs> what's your wager? Oh. The life of a faker. Ooh. I like the way she says faker too. Like there's something about it that like sounds a little bit cute. Again, like the life of a faker. It sounds um Again, it kind of captures Sparkle's like, because Sparkle is a cute character, and I feel like a lot of her playfulness comes across as cute, so I, I like the way that she said that. <laughs> Looks like someone's in my way. Oh. So what? Let me tell you what foolishness is. <laughs> Pretending to be smart like you do. Then... What is a fool? Ooh, I like the way she enunciated that too. Then, what is a fool? You know, it's not like, what's a fool? It was, what is a fool? Very fitting, I think, again, for Sparkle's character. One more time for this section. Hold on. Then, what is a fool? Art like you do. That's a, that was also interesting too. I I like um I like the way that she uh I guess I like her vocal intonation in the way that she said this. Um it wasn't like pretending to be smart like you do. It was pretending to be smart like you do. Like you do. Like you do, you know? I like that. I think it's a cool choice. Then, what is because if I were to read that, I would have read it like pretending to be smart like you do, but that's not how she said it and I like I like the way that she said it. The fool.
I like the I like the way she said like I do as well. You can hear like a little bit of smile in her voice. Do you get it now? What is elation? Me. Yeah, we we'll, okay. So everybody, everybody had a very nice psychotic laugh. Again, different interpretations. Chinese one is still my favorite. I love the way the Chinese one said, um, "I am elation." Like again, she said it like she was announcing, like, uh, like I don't know, like a, a freaking wedding or something to the world. Like she just got engaged, and she's like, "I'm engaged." Except she's saying, "I'm elation." Like she just sounded so celebratory about it, and I freaking loved it. Like just sounded exactly like how I would imagine elation to be. But this is still very, very good. I like the psychotic laughter on all of them. I like the different interpretations. I, am <laughs> I like how hers kind of builds, you know, she starts off with kind of like a soft one and then it gets like a little bit more psychotic at the end. Yeah. This part's kind of cool too. Hold on, let's just let's just go back to this part where she's changing faces really quickly. This part is also quite fascinating. It reminds me a little bit of, um, if any of you guys have seen Tokyo Ghoul and you've seen the the intro, there's like a, there's like a, a lot of moments in the intro where the characters are sort of standing like at profile and there's like all these colors sort of coming out from their backs. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. And it's really cool. Like th this shot just in general is really fascinating because it, it sort of feels like, um, like her multiple personalities or something are, are almost like spilling out of her. <laughs> So what did we change from? We went from sparkle to black swan. Was that, was that what it was? Hold on. You guys, you guys taught me a really cool trick. I can go frame by frame. So yeah, we go sparkle, black swan. I just learned how to do this. This is really cool. Oh, and then we have the white mask. Okay. Sparkle, black swan, white mask, aventurine, red mask, Acheron, red and white mask. Huh. And then sparkle. Fascinating. Oh, it's such a bop. It's so good. And then it's like all of her different personalities surrounding her. What's going on right here? Let's. I'm gonna go frame by frame right here because, ooh, you know? This is really interesting, and this is something that's very hard to notice if you're not going frame by frame. Uh, so we have Sparkle Red Mask. She's holding White Mask Sparkle. And she looks... It looks like her hand is touching her face. She looks a little bit distressed. It's a little bit... I mean, it's hard to tell because obviously, you know, like, we're, we're in motion blur right now, so we can't really tell exactly the expression on her face. But she looks a bit distressed. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what's go uh what what's the mo what's the motion that's going on here? Is she falling forward here? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Dang. So freaking good. So good, man. <laughs> Were you scared just now? Oh, yep. See, that's what I mean. There's like that little bit of Were you scared just now? Like again, it's it's a little condescending, which I like. Again, very fitting for Sparkle's character. Um, dang, dude. Honkai Star Rail has some very talented voice actresses. I think Ooh, it's really hard to pick a favorite. In this case, I think like in terms of vocal intonation and like tone, I think the Japanese one is probably my overall favorite. But I think um, the way the Chinese one uh, said that, I, I've, I've talked about it many times, but that one line, I am elation and the laughter, like that part was so, so good. And I think like that's my favorite moment from all four of the trailers. The Chinese one has my favorite mo moment. The Japanese one has my overall favorite like tone and intonation throughout the entirety of the trailer. But that Chinese one, like, oh my God, I'm going to go back and watch that because that was just like, oh, that was so good. I, I love it. I love that it sounds celebratory. That's such a smart way to interpret it. Uh. 
That's so good. I freaking love that. Dang. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. That's all from me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Suki, signing off. Bye.